Hey there, Pan friends. Welcome to the channel again. It's me, your host, Amy from Pan Venture, and you have the front row seat for one of the best writing instrument reviews that we've done in a while. Trust me, what's inside this box won't disappoint your expectations. Trust me. I even went as far as setting up the mood for this writing instrument review because uh, you can see there is a lot more red in the picture and you will see why because today we are going to review the Montegrappa Dante Alighieri's Inferno writing instrument which have been uh, sitting for a few months if I'm not mistaken. Time is limited so I didn't have the proper time to do this uh, review, but in the past few weeks I've done some research and I was blown away by how nice is the inspiration behind this project and how good the Monte Grappa team captured this inspiration and put it into a uh, functional writing instrument design. So I won't waste your time. We are going to go into the packing, then we will see some of the details of this fountain pen, then we will have a side-by-side -side size comparison. We're going to skip the writing sample because this is such a precious, expensive writing instrument that I won't even go as far as spoiling uh, the next uh, owner's experience inking up this fountain pen. And in the end, I'm gonna share some of my personal opinions and we are going to end the video. Before going inside the box and seeing everything, I would like to put a bit of perspective behind this pen. Excuse me if throughout this review, I'm gonna glance my eyes to the right because I have some notes right there and I will try to the best of my uh, ability to showcase the whole story of this project of the author Dante Alighieri and everything that I've uh, put together in order for you guys to understand the perspective of the Monte Grappa team in integrating the story into a functional writing instrument. So 2021, 700 years since Dante Alighieri has passed away. And uh, who is Dante Alighieri? Well, Dante Alighieri is one of the most uh, revered poem writers from Italian literature. So his work impacted Italian literature so, so deep because it has been a revelation uh, in Italian literature when his Divina Comedy was put out. And um, let's be very, very short because uh, the story is uh, very, very extensive. And also I would like to dive into uh, the Divina Comedy itself, the poem, because uh, you will understand a few key aspects that are mentioned there and they found their way on the writing instrument. So it took Dante Alighieri 12 years in order to finish his work, Divina Comedy, and uh, it is spread it out through a few chapters, but the main important ones are uh, the Inferno, the Purgatory, and the Paradise. In this poem, actually, Dante describes his journey going into the Inferno, then through Purgatory towards Paradise. And uh, the way he is expressing this journey and the way he is putting his uh, best words in this work have been a very important breakthrough into Italian literature because till that point no one was actually expressing this, uh, let's say, um, religious themes in such a dramatic expression. From that point of view, Dante was a genius because he have been setting up a new standard in Italian literature. Of course, we can talk all day about Dante Alighieri and his uh, Divina Comedy, but let's see what of the Divina Comedy story got into the fountain pen design. So we have, as always with Montegrappa, a flawless packing. Beautiful, beautiful cardboard, red with silver and we have this beautiful cardboard box Dante Alighieri on top 700 years and let's see what we have inside. We have the presentation box and this is like a book and it is stamped right here Inferno Dante Alighieri and I hope the light captures all of these aspects because when we have such an expensive writing instrument you demand 
a certain way of the packing. So yeah, I love that they took uh, good, good care of this packing. And let me put the box away and let me show you this beautiful, beautiful box. And this can be very easily displayed into a, uh, let's say, a bookshelf or a library. Or if you want, you can store it on your desk and you can impress everyone with such a presentation box for a writing instrument. Now let's open and take a closer look at the sinister looking packing because although it's beautiful, it has the inferno theme, which is hell, basically speaking. And we have here a sketch. In this sketch, we can clearly see that there are two persons walking down through the gates of uh, inferno or hell. We have a tail, which I believe it's uh, the tail of uh, Lucifer, and uh, two people, one of which is Dante Alighieri, which is guided by another author, which is, uh, name is Virgilio, if I'm not mistaken. And this person guides Dante throughout this journey into the inferno. Moving further, we have this uh, beautiful booklet with uh, a very, very creative way to express uh, uh, the horrors of hell. We have beautiful captions of the fountain pen in silver material and gold, because uh, like with all limited edition high-end exclusive pens, Montegrafa does some in uh, silver, which are a little bit more cheaper, and a few pieces in solid gold, which are much, much more pricey. You can read all sorts of details about uh, Dante Alighieri and uh, the work, the Divina Comedy, and uh, to the end of the booklet you will find the warranty informations and the number of the limited edition. We have here a polishing cloth because the pen is made out of silver, of course, and we have the pen resting right here, and uh, we have a coat, Lasciate ogni speranza voi che entrante. My Italian is not so good, so yeah, if that sounded uh, not the way it should, I'm sorry. In Divina Comedy, this coat was uh, at the entrance of hell, and actually it's translation to something like uh, he who enters here leave all hope, at least something close to that. But we are here for the pan. I will remove the pan, I'll put the box away, of course, I'm going to roll my sleeves and uh, I'm going to use the gloves that were provided by Montegrappa for this review. And uh, let's take a closer look at this very, very nice writing instrument. So we have the Montegrappa Dante Alighieri Inferno. And this is quite a nice writing instrument, trust me. I don't know where to start, but I want to spread out the story of uh, the Divina Comedy throughout the details so you guys can better understand uh, the whole view of the Montegrappa team in designing this pen and which details from the Divina Comedy Inferno had been put into this pen. The action of the Divina Comedy is set into the year 1300 and it begins by showcasing Dante Alighieri, which was uh, lost in the woods and all of a sudden found himself surrounded by a panther, a lion and a wolf. Fearing for his life, a shadow appears and is the poet Virgilio who uh, offers himself to guide Dante into the inferno. So we have on top of the phenol right here some green branches and um, it is uh, a nice way to showcase how the Divina Comedy starts from the top of the finial, and the top of the finial is flat, and we have the new Montegrappa logo embossed, and I do believe this is red enamel. Moving further, we have the cap and the story of the Dante uh, and Virgilio going down through Inferno continues, and on this cap, we have, first of all, the clip. It's a nice interpretation of a uh, Lucifer tail, which was uh, on that uh, sketch. And we have this nice curvy clip, which is made in uh, solid silver. I do believe this is hinged, but don't try to go overboard. 
trying to clip this pen. The cap, which is cylindrical in shape, it doesn't taper in or out. It has this uh, continuous shape from the cap finial down towards the cap band right here. And the story of those two continues down through Inferno and they stumble upon nine concentric rings, the rings of hell. And uh, actually those managed to find themselves on this design. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine levels of hell. Each of them represent the nine deadly sins, which Dante have been showcasing in the Divina Comedy. And uh, in his work, he actually have been putting a lot of uh, famous contemporary people that have been sinning in the Divina Comedy. So it's very nice to see the perspective of uh, Dante as an author showcasing who sits where in this nine concentric rings. Coming down from the cap finial, we have this beautiful centric ring of uh, leaves which I do believe it represents the forest in which Dante started the journey to Inferno. Then we have one, two, three, four, five rings which are displayed on the cap and they start from uh, being uh, very, very bright red down to orange and continues through the barrel until we have complete yellow. It's nice to see that Monte Grappa includes these two very, very, very hard to get right techniques, combining silver, which has a lower melting point, with enamel. And to the best of my knowledge, enamel has to be very hot when it's applied. So it's nice to see that we have these two techniques combined into creating such a unique look. Opposite to the clip, we have the first uh, five deadly sins. First one is uh, Limbo, second one Lust, third one Gluten, fourth one Greed, and fifth one Rage. Taking a closer look, we can see the intricacy of this design. We have uh, actual people that are captured in those rings and that is shown very, very well in this design. We have Gothic symbols right here, just crosses and everything looks so so nice going further down the cap we can see that right here we have almost like a lake of fire and we have a boat that's floating in this river of fire and i do believe this is a very very exquisite way how to showcase this team in a writing instrument. Opposite to the clip down right here we have made in Italy and a few symbols for uh, silver 925 pointing down from the clip Monte Grappa and we have a motif that's mimicking like a wall a brick wall and let's uncap this pen and we have one and uh, almost two complete turns to uncap this pen. Another key aspect of this creation, and I want to show you this, is the fact that uh, the silver is in overlay. And uh, behind this overlay, we have a uh, body which is made in Monte Grappite. And uh, I hope I pronounced that correctly, Monte Grappite. That is a proprietary resin to Monte Grappa. And uh, when I visited uh, Monte Grappa a few weeks ago, we were talking with uh, Giuseppe Aquila, the CEO of Monte Grappa, and he told me that this is a very, very uh, nice material, which uh, is done locally with a company, proprietary to Monte Grappa. Actual uh, property which makes it so, so nice is the fact that it can be remelted and uh, casted down into new uh, material bars. So it is very, very interesting to know about this and uh, it is very, very eco-friendly. So everything that's scrap or the shavings from uh, the manufacturing process of a fountain pen can be taken and can be remelted and poured down into uh, new pieces 
of material for making pants. Moving further, this is an 18 karat gold nib from Monte Grappa. It's a little bit more firm than uh, flexi gold nibs. If I'm not mistaken, this is the size 6 18 karat gold nib from Monte Grappa. And we had the Monte Grappa Monopoly fountain pen on our channel reviewed. I'm gonna link the video someplace up here. So you guys can check and see how these nibs are writing because I do believe they are similar nibs. On this nib we have on the left shoulder engraved right there Monte Grappa. Middle through right we have the portrait of Dante Alighieri. On the right shoulder at the base we have the nib size which is fine. Turning the fountain pen like so we can see that there is a uh, ebonite feed and moving further we have the section and this section is made in Monte Grappit, the resin of uh, Monte Grappa and the color of this resin is very very nice because it's not black, it is not brown, it's a very deep velvety cherry, dark cherry color. It has uh, highlights of red, yellow, orange, offering a very very sinister look throughout this design which I do expect from such a theme. After all, we are talking about hell. Moving further, we have this silver part right here, which is showcasing a little bit of tarnishing. And we have stamped Monte Grappa, threads of the capping system. And those are not sharp at all. And they are quite, quite round and well polished. Then we have this uh, part, which uh, makes the transition from the section towards the barrel of the fountain pen. And we continue down, we have the remaining four layers of hell. And uh, we have at six, heresy, seven, violence, eight, fraud. At nine, we have treachery. Now, let's take a closer look at the designs. And we have a few fiery windows, which I do believe it looks very, very nice. And actually, behind the enameling, you can see certain small details that uh, offer the above enamel a certain visual 3D look. Throughout these layers, you can see people captured and they are uh, subdued to horrors. Take a closer look here. We have a centauri, which is half horse, half human creature that shoots darts at the sinners. It is a uh, horror scene, but again, the Divina Comedy, it's a uh, dramatic way how to showcase the horrors of uh, hell. Moving further, we have this uh, part of the barrel, which is porting a lot more layers in between these two concentric rings of hell. And the barrel is a silver overlay, and we have a lot of small details that are not very, very easily uh, missed out if you have this fountain pen in front of you. Take a closer look now at the piston knob. This fountain pen is equipped with a ratcheting piston filling mechanism, but what we have here different from the rest of the theme is that we can see, just like in the Divina Comedy, at the end, Dante stumbles upon Lucifer himself, which is captured and uh, restrained into a icy lake. We have a lot of gothic theme details. Everything about this uh, fountain pen even made me to go and uh, take a closer look at the Divina Comedy. When you have pens that look like this, you really need to read the inspiration behind them. I'll probably go and uh, find a, a translated copy of Divina comedy and uh, I will probably end up uh, taking a uh, journey through the pages of this uh, amazing poem. On the back piston knob we have the limited edition number which is 067 of 333. All I could say is that Monte Grappa did a amazing job with the design of the Dante Alighieri Inferno. We have coming uh, at least one more pen which is uh, Dante's Purgatorium. I really think there will be a third one which will be Paradise, just like the chapters of the Divina Comedy. Now, let me show you a side-by-side -side size comparison. We have the Visconti Speak Easy, Bologna from ASC in Arco Bronze, Monte Grappa Dante Alighieri Inferno, personal favorite of mine and 
big old one and we have stipula etruria alter ego celluloid and a leonardo momento zero in arco verde here we have the same fountain pens side by side uncapped and you can clearly see that the monte grappa dante alighieri it's a little bit smaller once you take the cap off. A few dimensions for the fountain pen. Capped it measures 146 millimeters, uncapped 133 millimeters, and the total weight of the fountain pen, fully inked and capped, is 122 grams, and uncapped it's 62 grams. Now let me put everything aside and let's talk a little bit about the overall thoughts that I have regarding this pen. I do consider myself very fortunate and blessed to have such a strong partnership with Monte Grappa and to experience such exquisite writing instruments and of course to share my experience with everyone that's uh, watching my videos. A big thank you goes out to Monte Grappa for allowing this opportunity for the pen venture audience. Let me tell you that if you're interested in uh, acquiring such a pen, we have it in stock on our website. Email me and uh, we will talk in private regarding the price of this pen. I do believe this is a very nice pen. The story behind it is the main point of this pen and the details that uh, found their way from the story into the pen. This is a visual interpretation of the actual Divina Comedy the inferno it is a conversation piece someone that's going to be in front of you if you show this fountain pen to them it will be a 100 percent chance to start a conversation about uh, pants monte grappa dante alighieri inferno and it is beautiful the execution of this pen is sublime I didn't see any small detail that wasn't in place. The story goes through levels and this is showing on the fountain pen. We have silver which is very very nicely carved into the story of the Divina Comedy. We have Monte Grappit, the resin which has this beautiful burgundy deep cherry black cherry color we have the changing colors of enamel from uh, red into orange from orange into yellow everything works together to offer this uh, 3d object that's the story divina comedy it cannot be posted i don't see anyone trying to or feeling the need to post this fountain pen once you uncap it it's very very balanced i don't feel it back heavy or anything like this i do believe the main parts of uh, the fountain pen are concentrated in the middle and this gives the whole pen a much more balanced uh, feel i really think that this is one of the pens that you need to be very very careful where you put it how you store it because uh, it can very easily take a drop it won't be the same because silver has a tendency to be soft and every bang will show on this fountain pen so yeah you need to be very careful because a lot of details that are carved into this silver may be damaged if you don't take care of this fountain pens thank you for spending your time with me on the pen venture youtube channel i hope you enjoyed uh, this review and also my other reviews and the content which is showcased on the pen venture youtube channel and the best way to support this will be to hit the thumbs up because this will help me a lot with the algorithm to reach out to many more just like you down below you'll find the links for uh, this magic pen and also the links for the website our social media accounts, my email and my phone number. Don't hesitate to contact me if you are interested in uh, having this fountain pen in your collection. Also, if you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll be quick to answer. If you want to support Pen Venture, the YouTube channel, and if you're not subscribed, you can subscribe right now. Just click here and turn the notification bell on. And uh, if you want to see more quality content from Pen Venture and myself, we have this video right here click and enjoy. My name is Amy and I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe.